As a private first class, finishing his mandatory year of military service in the Russian army, Alexander was given a new order by his commander. Sign a contract to extend his tour of duty and head to southern Russia for troop exercises. What was unspoken? He might end up fighting alongside pro-Russian separatists in eastern Ukraine. They didn't tell us anything, but we heard about it from other soldiers, paratroopers who had been over the border before. Regulations preventing Russian conscripts from being sent abroad are being ignored, according to their families. They say inexperienced soldiers are being fooled into signing contracts that turn them into professional soldiers. We receive messages from various places in which soldiers say that they're being sent again to Rostov for military exercises. But those who have been there before know in actual fact it means Ukraine. Russia denies it is sending arms and troops to Ukraine. But since summer, dozens of Russian soldiers have been reported killed by explosions during drills in the Rostov region. Deaths that human rights groups actually attribute to the conflict over the border. Alexander, whom the AP is not fully identifying for his safety, along with his best friend in the army unit, had no intention of extending their service. We wanted to refuse, but they said it was too late. They refused our refusal and we had to go. Commanders insisting they would have to serve out a three-year contract. The Russian government has kept a tight lid on information about soldiers in eastern Ukraine. Leosh, we love you and are waiting for you to come back. Families with sons of draft age are also worried. People in Russia are very, in principle, very worried about the chance of their country being drawn into a big war. It is unclear how many Russian soldiers have died in the conflict. The Ministry of Defense refusing to release the numbers of soldiers killed on duty in 2014. The ministry also refused to respond to the Associated Press for the story. Ultimately fleeing Rostov, both Alexander and his friend were threatened with desertion. We thought they would put us in jail because we went absent without leave. It was only with help from human rights groups that they were able to legally quit the Russian army. Tracy Brown, Associated Press.